Brody, what are you doing? This is absolutely ridiculous. The Mets continually fail as an organization. Treating Marcus Stroman from the Blue Jays to the Mets is a disaster. First of all, you don't need another starting pitcher. That's literally the last thing you need. You need both offense and bullpen, bullpen especially. Or if you're gonna be better, if you wanna win right now, at least get a bullpen arm. And I've heard reports that maybe, just maybe, it's a deal for Edwin Diaz straight up, though we don't really know anything yet. But this is just an absolutely ridiculous and ludicrous deal from Brody and the Mets. It doesn't make any sense. You don't need another study pitcher. First of all, you don't need better players. You don't need to buy right now. You are a selling team. This is the most unbelievably stupid thing I have ever seen from an organization. That's probably not true, but right now that's how I'm feeling. I'm not even a Mets fan and I feel so passionate about this because the Mets are just so dumb. They continually fail, fail, fail. You're supposed to be selling. You're supposed to be trading Noah Syndergaard to a team for good, good prospects. You're supposed to trade him to the Yankees for Florial and Thiel Estrada, maybe Clint Frazier. You're supposed to be getting a lot back, rebuilding your farm system after this disaster of an offseason and being better in four or five years, or maybe even three, because you have a good pieces. This following the Robinson Cano, Edwin Diaz deal, which didn't even look great back then, giving up Kelnick for a guy who's really only been good for one year, and a 36-year-old or whatever, second baseman who's under contract for 20 million each year. It just doesn't make sense. I am just so and utterly confused. From the Blue Jays side, you don't really care who he goes to. You just want prospects. If you got Edwin Diaz back, it really doesn't make sense. You just want a lot of prospects, but the Mets are kind of <laughs> not a lot of those left because they traded them for players who aren't good this year. You got to build around guys like Jeff McNeil, Jacob DeGrom, who you can definitely keep. If you want to trade, you can trade, but you should definitely keep them this year. And your top prospects, but maybe Michael Conforto, Brandon Nimmo. Ahmed Rosario, who doesn't look great, but maybe even try him, Pete Alonso. It just doesn't make sense what you're doing. First of all, you're not good right now. Marcus Stroman will not take you to the playoffs this year. He will not take you to the playoffs next year. It won't happen. Second of all, your division is loaded. The other four teams are absolutely stacked. You get the Braves, who are going to be in contention for a World Series. The Phillies and the Nats are both in contention for a playoff spot. And the, well, the Marlins, okay. I'll give you that one. You're better than the Marlins. But everyone's better than the Marlins besides the Tigers, Orioles, and Royals. It, it's, it's a disaster. It doesn't make sense. I am utterly confused, utterly shocked, and utterly disappointed from a team who should be good because I don't like the Yankees, obviously. So I want them to be better than the Yankees, but they continually fail. So stop failing. Also in other news, the Blue Jays just called up star shortstop Bo Bichette, which now leads me to believe he will not be traded for Edwin Diaz, Marcus Stroman, that is because they're going to fill the open roster spot with Boba Shit, which creates a pretty, pretty cool infield with Kevin Biggio at second, Boba Shit at short, Vlad at third, and you have Gurriel on left. That is a nice, nice team for the future. Obviously, it's not great right now because they don't have any starting pitching, any relief pitching besides Giles, and any other positions, really. I mean, they traded Pilar, Gritchick is bad, Smoke is okay to bad, so it's not that big of a move, but... It's going to be exciting to see how Boba Shit does at the major league level, being that star prospect that he is. And I don't know where this is going to put Freddie Galvis, who's such a, I think is a great player who could fit on a good team. But we'll see where he goes. Maybe he moves into the outfield for the first time in his career. Maybe Boba Shit moves in the outfield. Maybe Biggio moves in the outfield. And Galvis moves to second. We don't know. But that'll be interesting. And in an interesting development of the trade, the Mets actually sent Anthony Kay and Simeon Woods Richardson over, which means... In a vacuum, they won this trade, but for what they need, they don't. They fleece the Blue Jays, but they just don't need Marcus Stroman. I think it's kind of a big, you know, F you to the Yankees, but that's about it. That's all I got for you now. See ya.